<laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask Zina and Yasmin to read uh, some part of the book. So and also talk about posture and a couple of other things that are important for all of us. Okay, so what, we talk a lot of um, things about the book, not just exercise, but we talk about how to live, how to eat, how to sleep, how to stand. So we're going to read this uh, section on how to sit. Most of you are sitting in the audience there. Most of us sit for a living. So we're going to, we have a couple, uh, we're going to do a little excerpt and then we're going to do a couple exercises. We're going to make you guys do some exercises. Okay. It's sitting down for hours at a time that got us humans into this postural mess in the first place. We were designed to be hunters and gatherers, not typers and texters. Our bodies were never meant to sit for hours on an extreme hip flexion position. The hip flexors, yes, let's demonstrate, which are the muscles that run across the front of the thigh bones and into the pelvis, and the hamstrings, which run along the back of the thighs, can become chronically tight. This tightness contributes to arched back or flat back postures as described in chapter two. Make sure you all read chapter two. More importantly, sitting for hours can drain the energy and circulation from our bodies. Muscles become atrophied, and when these muscles lose their size and strength, they begin to impact our posture negatively. We get lazy from the fatigue, and this fatigue comes from lack of movement. It could turn into a vicious cycle. Be careful to avoid the common sitting position where one leg is crossed directly over the other. Most women sit this way. Perhaps we were taught by our great-grandmothers that this is the way to sit like a lady. But common sense tells us that this position can create imbalances in the hips and the spine. Just think. <laughs> when you sit with the right leg crossed directly over the left, with the right, bustle stre muscle, sorry, right butt muscle stretched longer, the right inner thigh is shortened, and the right hip is rotated me forward. If you do this over and over again for hours on end, your body will take this position and create muscle memory. The repetition of this common habit and the resulting muscle memory can be the cause of the pain due to muscular imbalances. Lastly, and most importantly, you must be able to sit up straight with a straight upper back and your eyes must be looking forward. A majority of issues related to kyphosis or hunchback posture, which we talk a lot about in the book, they occur as a result of sitting for hours, staring at your phone or computer and allowing the shoulders to round forward. We would like to recommend a few exercises that can be done at your desk or computer station to assist in combating this hunchback posture. Setting a simple alarm on your phone or computer can remind you to do these exercises a few times a day. So we're gonna start with shoulder rolls. Sit tall with your sit bones firmly planted in your chair. Come on, everyone. Come on. Let's see you do everybody, this. everybody, even everyone if you're standing. Your phones down. Yes. Sit up tall, look ahead. Yes. Follow. Lift your shoulders up to your ears and then roll them back. I can't see you guys doing it. Yes, I'm not saying anything. Imagine on, there is a pencil between your shoulder blades and squeeze them together and squeeze the pencil. Do these shoulder rolls and scapula squeezes five times, three times a day. Towel squeeze. Yes, you need the band for this. Stand up with a towel or TheraBand in your hands behind your back and your hands as close to each other as possible. Keep the arms straight and your palms facing backwards. Keeping your shoulders back and your elbows straight, pull the towel band apart for two seconds and hold and then release. Repeat these five times, three times a day. Shoulder openers. Stand with your upper arms glued to your sides, your elbows bent and your palms face up. Hold onto something heavy in each hand, like maybe two water bottles. Keeping your upper arms by your sides, rotate the arms open <laughs> and apart while squeezing your shoulder blades together. And these shoulder blade squeezes should be done three times a day. And finally, side stretch. Stand up with a towel or TheraBand in your hands, the distance between them a little wider than your shoulders. Bring your arms up straight above your head with the towel and band pulled tight. Lean your body over to the left as you stretch your right side. Keep a tight grip, grip on the towel or band. Keep your elbows soft and attempt to keep your shoulders down and away from your ears. Hold this for a minimum of 30 seconds on each side once a day.